overclocking, if you've never heard of it before, is the dark art of forcing your electronics to perform better than the manufacturer intended. Your computer CPU, tablet, phone, and any other modern computing devices you might own have processors inside them that all have something in common. Their performance is dictated by the design or architecture and the number of cycles that they can perform per second, which is usually represented as frequency or clock speed. So that is where the term overclocking comes from. You're taking the clock speed and turning it up over the manufacturer's recommendation to get more performance. Now, as I said before, clock speed is not the only factor. So it's not like you can overclock a calculator to perform as well as a gaming PC. With that said, you can make the calculator faster relative to its original state. So how do you do it? Well, first you have to decide if you actually want to. Overclocking often requires other aspects of your device to be run outside of specifications. What will happen is your device will become unstable as you turn up the speed. You can compensate by turning up voltage, but that can cause additional power consumption and more heat output. Seasoned overclockers will have experience with anything from large heat sinks with fans for cooling to liquid cooling or even more exotic sub-zero cooling if they're trying to get maximum performance. More voltage also increases the risk of failure. So for this reason, many manufacturers will actually refuse outright to provide warranty service on overclocked electronics. Still want to do it? You're not alone. Lots of people are willing to make these trade-offs that I just mentioned for more performance. There are comprehensive guides that exist for overclocking pretty much any device that would benefit from it. Many Android phones can be overclocked with a simple app download, and PC overclocking is a very popular pastime with gamers, video editors, or anyone else who needs more performance from his or her computer. You can check out the link in the video description for my most recent PC overclocking guide. You can also check out audible.com slash techquickie for a free audiobook. Audible.com has over 150,000 audiobooks available, and while you won't need an overclocked phone to listen to them in the car while you're on the way to work, it certainly couldn't hurt. All you have to do is sign up for a new account, and the first one is free. I tried finding an audiobook about overclocking, but instead it came up with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, which if you haven't already read it, is awesome. So that's audible.com slash techquickie. Guys, like this video if you liked it, share it if you thought it was helpful, that means a lot to us, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.